the next in line is the custom and standard messages so whenever you uh, execute any custom program or a standard t code you often see the messages at the bottom success or warning or, or error messages or pop-up messages so how to identify whether it just the message came from a standard code or a custom code we'll learn this in this section say i execute the same report which we have created and we get this message no records found so you want to know whether this is from a standard a place or standard message or a custom message custom message means it should start with a z so i click on this question mark here and then it will take me to this where it says no records found and the message number is zmm1004 you, you don't understand what is this so click on this toolbar tool icon it will take me here the application area is zmm1 so by now you know that this is a custom message just click on navigate it will take you to the actual message no records found and it is in message class z mm1 and where is it so you have to go to transaction sc 91 and then give this message class z mm1 and then give the message number as 004 here so what is the t code to remember it is sc 91 so this is the place where you see your messages if it starts with z it is a custom message if not it is a standard message let's see this in action in the SAP system. So I go to SE38. I know my program name. I execute it. Now I'll give some junk value. Say I don't know. I want to see that error, right? So I give some junk value and create execute. So you get a message, no message form. For this is a custom program, I can guess that it might be a custom message. But if to be to be double sure, I just click on this question mark. No records form ZMM. Now I'm sure that this is a custom uh, message, but still I want to see what's there so it is the application area zmm1 and the message number is 004 now i click on the navigate it takes me to the section where messages are maintained and if i click on this message for this message class you have lots of messages for us this is what we were shown the other way around maybe you know the message class and the number but now you want to know what is the message so what you can do is you go to se91 i'll say zmm1 and I want to see the message number 4. I'll see here and click the display. See, it will take me to the same message. So this message class can be used in any program. All right. So this is a custom message. Anything which does not start with Z or Y, it should be your standard message. All right. So with this, we wrap up our part 1. Let's see what we have in part 2.